Hi, this is Gali Kofar. Thank you very much for joining me here today. Today I'm going to be talking about eczema and how you can help treat it and manage it with diet and supplements. So eczema, also known as atopic dermatitis, is a common chronic non-infectious skin condition that may lead to recurrent skin infections and poor quality of life if left untreated. Eczema causes a very itchy rash affecting the quality of life of the people who are who have it. Depending on the severity of the itching, it may affect your sleep and concentration. And if the rash is visible, it may also sometimes cause embarrassment. The bacteria Staphylococcus aureus may be the cause of the infection. Although this bacteria is common on healthy skin and usually harmless, in eczema where the skin is inflamed and cracked, the bacteria may cause infection, making the eczema worse. If the infection spreads, it may need antibiotics treatment. And inflamed and cracked skin is also a breeding ground for viruses, especially the herpes viruses. Now, one in 10 people will develop eczema during their life. Eczema is more prevalent in children, with 15 to 30 percent of the population of children affected. And 2 to 10 percent of these children will continue to have eczema into adulthood. About half of the people suffering from eczema will also have asthma, with one third of all children with eczema developing asthma within by the age of five. Often eczema will get better as the years go by and it may even disappear, but not in everyone. Now the causes of eczema, um, often genes do play a significant role in developing eczema. Um, they uh, lead to damage to the outer layer of the skin, either by either caused by an inflammatory response or because of the damaged skin uh, just providing less protection against irritants and allergens and germs. The immune system then reacts to these irritants and allergens and germs by releasing antibodies which cause inflammation. However, since eczema primarily affects people living in the urban urban areas uh, in city uh, in the city it, it suggests that lifestyle and environmental factors are important causes of the disease and may increase the risk of eczema gene expression in those that are that have this gene now pollution and increased hygiene um, actually increased hygiene do play a role in the environmental cause um, Studies show that children from bigger families who go to daycare centers from an early age and have a pet in the house um, uh, help expose these children to germs which help build their immunity, making them stronger. Um, eczema was found to be less common in such populations. Other environmental causes uh, include extreme weather conditions, unnatural fabrics um, that you may be wearing, harsh soaps, detergents and fragrances that come in contact with your skin, as well as cigarette smoke. Lifestyle factors, especially diet, have a major impact on skin health and gene expression. Therefore, your pers a person's diet is also a risk factor for eczema. Treatment of eczema uh, mainly involves topical creams and ointments. However, there are natural ways to help eczema with diet and lifestyle changes and supplements. Number one, you want to, of course, avoid any triggers. It's common for people who have eczema to also have food allergies. Allergens to certain foods may trigger eczema flare-ups because diet plays a role in an inflammation. You want to avoid common allergens. Um, to help keep your symptoms under control. Um, the, co the most common food allergens include um, eggs, uh, fish, shellfish, uh, some, some types of nuts, especially peanuts and Brazil nuts, as well as um, uh, gluten and dairy products. Now, of course, breast milk is the best preferred way of feeding infants. So, um, especially those with eczema, you may uh, feed your baby for even one and a half to two years if they have eczema. And this will significantly reduce any skin inflammation and damage to their skin also in the long term. In a study on children with um, severe eczema, eliminating trigger foods, um, even if they weren't breastfed as, when they were young, eliminating these trigger foods uh, is, showed major improvements in their condition and fewer flare-ups. Now, if you're breastfeeding, you also want to avoid these trigger foods as much as possible um, when you are uh, f breastfeeding your baby during the whole period while you're breastfeeding your baby. Um, also, um, other 
foods that are allergens are foods that contain artificial ingredients and preservatives such as processed foods and fast foods sugar is also uh, may trigger flare-ups because it causes spikes in blood sugar levels causing inflammation a good way to identify foods that trigger eczema is to go on an elimination diet for three weeks avoiding all of the foods that I mentioned the fish the nuts um, gluten dairy products if you avoid all of these and um, wait for three weeks and then slowly reintroduce each food separately to see if you have any reactions to any of these foods and now if you don't react you may go back to consuming these foods regularly if you do react then of course avoid them there are also tests to help you detect antibodies in your blood for these allergens and this is uh very helpful in avoiding the discomfort of an elimination diet now other common allergens also uh, environmental allergens include dust mites and pollen um, and you want to avoid uh, soaps harsh soaps shampoos cleaning materials with uh, chemicals and allergens and other things that may trigger eczema itching and um, this is very important also um, you want to consume omega-3 fatty acids um, studies have shown that the anti-inflammatory actions of omega-3 fatty acids on eczema and other skin conditions are very potent um, you want to consume an omega-3 fatty acid supplement although they are found in fish um, the fish um, actually get these omega-3 fatty acids because of the plant sea vegetables that they consume and these provide them with um, uh, alpha linoleic acid which is an omega-3 fatty acid precursor to DHA and EPA um, which are known to be helpful for eczema so you don't really need to consume um, f uh, fish because especially they're on the trigger uh, food list but you may consume omega-3 fatty acid from plant-based sources such as um, sea vegetables chia and flax seeds um, and walnuts you may also want to supplement with a plant-based omega-3 fatty acid supplement also prebiotics and probiotics are very important probiotics contain live uh, microbes um, that vary and increase the numbers of the good bacteria in your gut you can take these as supplements or you can consume prebiotics these are foods that act as food uh, for the microbes the healthy microbe populations and studies have shown that both prebiotics and probiotics have beneficial effects on gastrointestinal health and skin health um, the more varied your bacteria and the gut um, full of healthy bacteria the healthier your immune system which will reflect on your skin rich sources of probiotics include kimchi misu pickles kombucha and sauerkraut or you may take them and as probiotic supplements as I mentioned these are best taken in capsules with at least 10 different microbial strains and a hundred billion um, microbes or also known as colony forming units CFUs um, prebiotic rich foods include artichokes garlic pineapples potatoes onions and whole grains you want to increase these prebiotic foods in your diet regularly by consuming at least one of these foods um, every single day also flavonoids are very important against um, eczema foods rich in flavonoids benefit um, eczema patients dramatically these foods have antioxidant activity and potent anti-allergenic activity as well they are also anti-inflammatory and um, inhibit inflammatory cell production foods that are uh, not common allergens and have high flavonoid levels should be consumed regularly both by children and adults and these include onions red grapes red cabbage green leafy vegetables especially parsley and kale um, now the, all these foods can be offered to children already from six months foods that you can give a little bit later include berries that can be given to babies after eight months and citrus fruits after 12 months if you are breastfeeding you may also wish to avoid some of these trigger foods in your diet as I said before um, studies from the uh, Department of Cardiology at Osaka um, hospital um, have identified potential benefits of drinking wine for eczema therefore if you're an adult with eczema you may have an occasional glass of wine which is rich in flavonoids also you want to keep your fingernails short scratching is a natural reaction but it can complicate the condition although it may be hard not to scratch especially if wounds are infected less damage will be done if your fingernails are short and you also want to hydrate your skin one oil that may help hydrate um, the skin 
skin and reduce and prevent itching is natural and cheap and it's called squalene it's found in most con cosmetic shops look for a hundred percent pure squalene oil put a few drops on the area with eczema to prevent any itching so I hope you found this video helpful if you did please give it a thumbs up please also subscribe to my channel and visit my website thegorilladiet.com for anything to help you move your health and wellness to a better place for you thank you very much for joining